Right, why is it taking so long? Hello guys. Sorry about this, my laptop's having a moment. There we go, I think we're on ball. Yeah, we're on ball. Yeah, sorry there was no um, saying hello at the beginning of the stream. I do apologise about that. But as I say, for some reason my stream just was not showing up on my laptop so I couldn't see my chat. If people do chat to me. But yes guys. It's Farming Friday again. Farming Friday. Oh yeah. But yes, like I say in every single stream guys. If you want to join the YouTube, the Discord, the Twitch, any other YouTube links, they'll be all down below in the description below. This Twitch stream and when this is on YouTube, it'll be below the YouTube as well. So cool, cool. But yes, guys, today is Farming Friday, where we look at a new map or a mod or something. But on the cards today, we are looking at so so. Hang on, so so Novaka is the one we're looking at today, a brand new map. Well, it's been in farm sim for a while, but it's a new map for us to look at. Okay, no, we're not gonna have government subsidy on. We're gonna take that off. Yeah, we're gonna have everything else on. So let's go load it up. Yes, welcome guys, welcome. Another good farming stream. <laughs> but yes, guys, how's your Friday going? What are you do what are you doing today? What are you playing today? How is it? Well, that's loaded up. Lovely jubbly pudding pie. You do the yoki koki and you turn around, and that's what it's all about. Right, let's start. Yeah, so if you're not familiar with the basics of the game yet, we recommend going through the first two tutorials or taking a guide round at Ravenport, guys. Please remember to do that if you're new to Farm Sim 19 and you want to learn the basics of farming go to the farms go to ravenport and you'll learn it all on there right let's have a look around this map And from what I'm aware of guys this map is based in Germany from what I know Okay, that's field 19. We won't go there yet. But yeah. Okay, we've got some sheds. One, two, three sheds. Another shed. Okay, this looks like it's the maintenance bay. OK, 
Okay, we found the main road. A silo. Where you put all your grain. And that's what you go over here. It looks like this is the bale area where you put your bales. Uh, more storage. Yep, more storage. More storage. What are we in this building? Nope. Okay. Thanks for your support. Hiya, Zuper. Uh, no, this is Farming Friday where I look at a, ma a new map every Friday. So, I'm not starting a new map. But, welcome Zooper, welcome to the stream. And uh, thank you for the raid as well, DJ, DG, DJ Gaming. Thank you for the raid of four. Thank you, thank you. Welcome guys, welcome raiders, welcome, welcome to the stream. Hope you're all doing well, hope you're having a great day. But right, let's jump in the tractor and let's have a look around this map, shall we? In our uh, Matic 1104. And we've also got... What that? A Star at S... Hang on. A Star at ST Max 180. Lovely. And we've got a plow... But a uh, cedar and a trailer, cool, cool. But yes, let's go and have a drive around the map, see what the map's all about. Ah, we've got a bale barn where you sell bales, so that's what it is across the road. Thinking what that was. Right, I don't know where to start on this map. Right, okay, we'll drive up to the bakery, then we'll go to the animal dealer and mill pond and then the grain elevator and then to the shop. So, we want to go... So we want to go right. Then onto the road. And I've just made a wrong turn. <laughs> but yes guys, on Farming Sim I've had a look at Sandy Bay, I've had a look at the old stream, the old stream farm I've had a look at. So this week we're having a look at So So there. Yeah. I just say it. So Sunovac we're having a look at this week. Let's say if you've got any other maps or suggestions for any other maps. Feel free to put them in the description or feel free to put them in the chat. Then I can take note of them and I'll have a look at them. Okay, that's a house. The map looks cool, lots of small fields. Yeah, it does, Zipper. Welcome, Nate. Welcome, welcome to the stream. It might be quicker to fly around the landscape too. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean there, Nate. But welcome, guys. Welcome, Zuka. Welcome, Nate. Welcome, welcome. So, Zuka and Nate, do you play farming sim as well, or...? Let's go. So we've got the bakery coming up. I say hey guys, this map was recommended to me by someone on Twitch called Bloody Wolf. This was recommended by to, to me by because he said to me that this is his most favourite map, so I thought, okay, I'll have a look at it, see what it's all about. Uh, 
a little. Okay, Nate, what maps do you play on? If you play farming sim a little. Ah, had so much fun on this game, can't wait to FS22. FS22 comes out in November, Zupa. I can't wait for S FS22, to be quite honest with you. Get to do some grapes. <laughs> yeah, so this is the bakery, guys. This wonderful place here. Let's go have a look at the next place. Which, thank you. Okay, we've got the animal dealer behind us. Okay, I'll do the animal dealer and then we'll go across to the mill pond. So let me spin round. Yeah, so Zipa, what maps do you do on farm sim? Hey, jumping tractor. So this is the animal dealer here then. Okay. This is going to be the mill pond over here. Oh, guess what, Zupa? You'll be able to get F. I think you'll be able to get FS19 on the current gen, current gen consoles as well, like the Xbox One and the PS4 as well. You only play the original European map, which is Felsbrunn. Okay, I've never played that map. Okay, I might review that map actually if it's available for FS19. Okay, here's the mill pond. Okay, there's some information here as well. Oh, that's where you sell wood. Okay. Yeah, so say guys, I do have another map going on on FS19 I are called Rustic Acres. That's an ongoing map guys that I do on stream and I do off stream so when I bring it back which will possibly be over the weekend we will be doing some onions. Okay the way I want to go Okay, we're going to have to follow it down to the river, go across the river and back up to the grain place. Okay. Or actually... Can I get up to that bridge up there? Yes, I can, actually. So, we'll go over the bridge instead. Okay, this doesn't look like a German map. This looks like a Russian map. Yeah, as I say guys, I do farming Friday, every Friday. So there'll be a new map or a new mod shown every Friday. Okay, what's this place? Hang on. Ah, this is the shop. Ah, the shop where you get your bits and pieces. Cool.
Ekistan Theo Kalos and Millennium right now. Cool. And you're going to try Glazenbrook farm soon. Nice. Yeah, apologies for my pronunciations, guys. I'm not good at um, foreign pronunciations. I do completely apologise. Okay, this is the grain village grain elevator. Okay, this is kind of a smallish map. Right, we'll go towards the supermarket and the warehouse. Yeah, as I say guys, if also you want to see more farming, there's plenty of farming on my YouTube channel. There is plenty of hours of farming on there, so feel free to go and watch it over there if you want to go and watch it over there. I do post all my streams on YouTube as well. This is a, this is actually a nice farm. And I've also, guys, learnt where the indicators are. Yeah, I say, I'm not good at pronouncing their uh, foreign names. Sorry about that. <laughs> right, um... Where's the supermarket? Oh, the supermarket's in here. Okay, what can you sell at the supermarket then? Probably like milk and stuff. Can I tell the BMW drivers where they are too? Okay, the BM... Oh, do you mean the BMW driver up my backside? Yeah, there's indicators in this game, didn't you know that, Nate? And thank you for the host, Mr. Oggs. Welcome to the streams. Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, no, I've just gone the wrong way. What a donut. Well, nice to pop in, Oggs. As I say, I pop into your streams quite a lot. So, nice for you to pop into one of mine, but welcome. Sorry to hear you've got to go to work. Sorry about that. Hope to catch you in another stream, Oggs. As I say, Oggs, I'm live today, tomorrow, Sunday and Monday. So, I'm live for the next three days. And that place just there, where it was before I leave. Okay, I think it's nice to save. Oh yeah, yeah, tell the uh, BMW drivers where the indicators are. <laughs> yeah, I get what you mean there, Nate. I know BMW drivers don't have indicators zipper. Sadly, off. you're off till Tuesday after today. You're off till Tuesday, Oggs. Nice. 
Okay, we're at the vegetable warehouse. Okay, we got the biogas plant and then we'll go over to the transport company. Uh, mind out. Well, as I say, Oggs, feel free to drop in. As I say, I'm streaming... Well, you said you couldn't pop in today, but I am streaming Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So feel free to pop in. I'll try and pop in some of your streams as well, Oggs. Okay, hey, over here we've got the biogas plant over here. Yeah, good old biogas glass. Gas plant. You're hoping to s so you're hoping to stream over the next two days, are you, Ogs? What you're hoping to stream, Ogs? I say I stream all sorts of games from farming to trains to trucking to all sorts really. Right, we'll go down to the transport company and then we're going to look at the spinnery as well. Why won't my indicate that? No, turn off. Thank you. Okay, here is the transport company. Where well, we have a train. Sadly can't jump aboard the train, sadly, which is a pain. TSW or maybe some Allstrength. Fair enough. Let's say, I don't know what I'm streaming over the next three days. I just stream what I feel and what I like to stream, so... <laughs> I'll wake up tomorrow morning and go, do you know what, let's stream that. Or, do you know what, let's stream that. But don't forget, Ogs, I do have a YouTube channel where the majority of my content goes. So if you've missed a stream, you can jump on the YouTube and have a look. Also, don't forget, Ogs, I've also got a Discord server if you would like to join. Then you can see the majority of my content on there as well. That doesn't actually, you don't actually see on their streams. Right, just bear with me a moment, guys. Just going to need to answer a call.
Right, hello guys, sorry about that, personal phone call, apologies if my volume's a bit low. Yeah, choo choo Zupa, I do do trains on this channel, just that so you know, Zupa. Literally the train I get on. What do you mean, Ox, the train you get on? <laughs> Explain to me, Ox. Right, let's head back to the spinnery. As I say guys, I do stream all my streams live. I don't do many, much YouTube content. I do do IRL content though, if you feel like watching my IRL side of stuff as well. Okay, let's go to the spinnery. Well, this is the spinnery. Yep, I can go around the back. Yeah, so, Super, what sort of games are you into? And that's if you're still in the channel, channel, but if you're still in the chat, what sort of games are you into as well? I say, I know what sort of games Ox is into. Ox is into all sorts. Well, I think Oggs is into licorice all sorts. Don't know about that one. <laughs> right, where are we going next? We are going next to the garden centre and then we'll come down to the l lumber yard. Not what I've said before, which has the lumber lard. That makes no sense. So we'll go to the garden centre, then we'll go to the grain elevator, and then we'll go to the lumber la lumber yard. Shut up. Okay, this is actually a nice map. As I say guys, on this map, all I use is just the vehicles in the shop. I do not mod money when I'm doing these map, like map looks and stuff like that. No modded money at all. And as I say guys, at the end of every stream I always link the map in the description down below so you can get it off the mod hub either on the internet or if you're playing it on console it's available on the mod hub. Now we've got a roundabout. Now what we'll, we'll come back to this one. We'll go down to the one at the bottom first. And I say guys, we will be ploughing a field today, don't you worry. like it says in the description down below guys feel free to follow if you enjoy this sort of content feel free to follow it's your choice okay this is the somewhere that is helpful ah oh, this is the lumber yard Well, that probably makes sense why there's wood. Right, we'll go to the grain elevator. Which 
to pull over to read the big message. Where do you start? Right now, playing No Man's Sky and a set of Corsa, but also like playing God of War, FS19, Horizon Zero Dawn, Battlefield Batman, PGA Tour, GTA, Darksiders, Dark Souls, Subnautica, Tomb Raider, SnowRunner, Assassin's Creed. Wow. That's a lot of games, Zupa. And the thing is, Zupa, you'll fit right into this channel because this channel, I do a variety of stuff. Sorry, just gonna blow my nose, guys. Right, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. Had to blow my knees. Yeah, as I say, Zupa, I do, I've i done some Darksiders on the channel. The other day I looked at a game called Last Stop and Raja the other day. I also do FS19, I do Train Sim World, I do SnowRunner. I do all sorts of stuff. So I'm not just focused on one specific game. Okay, this is the grain elevator. Nice. Okay, we'll save. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the beauty of gaming. Yep, you you can do you can play what you want, when you want, and how you want. Okay, we'll look at the freight yard, the mill, and the biomass heating plant. And then we'll go up to the farm. Actually, do I need this junction or the other junction? Okay, I'll take this junction so we can go to the freight yard. I say, guys, if you're looking for my YouTube channel, there's either a, there's a link in the description down below this Twitch stream, or if you want to know the YouTube channel you're looking for, is Sim Hub Plus. You're looking for for Twitch stream channels. Words. Twitch streams. So we've got three more places to look at, and then we will get on with some fields. Indicator. Right, we're going to look at. I did not want to do that. That was the wrong button. Clever clogs. Okay, another choo choo. This is a freight yard. Okay, let's go and look at the mill. Another roundabout.
Okay, this is the mill, and this is quite a big place actually. Yeah, this is actually a really big mill. Now we've got one more place to look at, and that's just around the roundabout, which is in me here. And this place is the biomass heating plant. Okay, nice. All right, let's go back to the farm, jump in the combine, and do some harvesting. And gate. So, guys in the chat, what do you think of the map so far? Is it a yay or a nay? In other words, guys, would you download this map and go, yeah, I'll do some farming on here, or... Nah, not really. Let's so say, if you're watching this on your YouTubes, and you've heard me say that, comment down below. Park you up there. We'll run and get in the red tractor. Now, I don't know why I've just done that, but I could have literally just driven straight over. Because I'm a bit of a banana. Now we'll jump in the combine. You don't fancy the map that much. It looks cool, but you would rather have a lot of really big fields. I agree with you there, Zupa. So I think the map I've done with the most biggest fields is the Valley of the Old Farm, which I still have. I still have installed on the uh, Xbox for farm sim. <coughs> I might I could whip that out for a review at some point. Right, it looks like we're doing some wheat. So basically, um, on this, m hang on, there was something I didn't actually see. There was no bailing machine. I think I'm going to have to borrow one. So 
So Zupa, when you play farm sim, do you play it with just normal money or do you mod the mod the money in? Okay, what have we got on field 14 actually? Field 14. Field 14. Oh, I'm just gonna have to go and check on look at field 14 guys. Bear with me a second. This is field 14 over here. Field 14's got nothing. Right, okay. We'll just focus on field 19 then. This is, yeah, I would say this is an alright map. It wouldn't be something that I would play all the time. I say I'm like Zupa. I prefer big. I prefer big maps with bigger fields. And sometimes farms with new crop as well. Like rustic acres that I'm working on has got things like mustard, coffee, onions. So it's got quite a load of different things on there, plus all the normal ones like wheat and stuff. Okay, this field's not going to take me that long. Then I say I've got to purchase a baler as well, so... So that means I'll have to drive all the way back to the shop, pick up the baler, drive all the way back to the farm. It's just annoying that you can't get things like delivered to you. Well, basically you actually could. I was going to sneeze then. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so as I say, the uh, maps that I've seen in the chat, I will take them into consideration and I will put them, I, I will look at them and put them into a review for Fridays to come. So for all you know guys, you might, you know, one week you might have suggested a farm to me and then next week you might see it on the Farm Friday review. Do, 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 do. So, um, if people are watching, what's everybody up to today? You know what, I'm just going to set that timer to real time instead of five seconds, five times five. Not five seconds. Five seconds. There you go, set that to real time. So you basically I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just about nine lines before the combine was full. Not bad. So basically I could probably get this field full. Full done before I end up needing to fill up again. And that's the same guys, we will pick up the bales on this field and then we'll go and sell the bales then we will plow and seed the field 
know that that will be field 19 completed. Hi right Fran, welcome welcome to the stream by the way, welcome welcome at the end of the field. Fun. A little old fun house. And thank you for the follow, Big Red Six 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 One. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do I do multiplayer? Yes, I do, but. I have a specific map to do multiplayer on. So if you look in the Discord, if you join the Discord server, we can talk about multiplayer farming in there because I've got another 
streamer that wants to do multiplayer farming. No, I've got two other streamers that wants to do multiplayer farming with me as well. So I'm hoping to sort out a multiplayer farming room at some point. I say the link in the description to the Discord should work. If it doesn't work, let me know. I will give you a link that does work. Like I say also, if you join the Discord server you can share some of your farming pictures as well. You love multiplayer on this game, but all as I say, yeah, on this game, I've never really had anybody to do multiplayer with, so... And you're from New Zealand, is that right? Am I right there, Big Red? You're from New Zealand? Cool, welcome from New Zealand! As I said, Big Red, I have a link to my Discord server in the description where I can discuss multiplayer with you because I've got a couple of other streamers that want to do multiplayer with me as well. And I will try and sort out a farming multiplayer room. And like also, as I said, It's 2am. Wow, Big Red. Why aren't you doing up at this time of the night? If it's 2am in New Zealand. And thank you for the host as well, Big Red. Thank you, thank you. Always appreciate it. Okay, we're going to have to empty shortly. Whoa, 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 that's not right. Do you just want me to call you Kiwi instead? Would that make it easier? Or do you want me to just call you Zipa? Okay. What about you, Big Red? Do you want me to just call you Big Red, or is there something easier that I can call you? I'll just I'll just continue calling Zipa Zipa. It'd be a bit easier. <laughs> okay, I'll call you Nick then. Be easier that way instead of Big Red. I say Zipa and Nick if you want to join the Discord server the link in the description down below this stream should work if it doesn't work let me know and also my YouTubes are down there where you can see a lot of uh, farming I mean hours and hours of farming Why don't I just do the logic and move my tractor nearer? That'd be so much more logic. It won't come up as you're on mobile. So, are you watching Twitch on the web? Nick, or are you watching 
it's on the Twitch app. So I actually had to think then. On the mobile app. Nick, would you like me to put the link in chat for you? Would that actually help? And if you're wanting to know, guys, I'm from the UK, if you wanted to know. Just bear with me a moment, guys. Hello. There you go guys, there's a new Discord link for you. That link that I've just put up in the chat actually should work. This time, I might, uh, I'm going to have to update the one below the stream. Yeah, feel free to join guys. As I say, there's a farm sim room in there where you can go and post your farm simulator pictures. In the last farm simulator picture I posted was a retro tractor I actually have. Which I bought for £5,000 off the store, well, game store yesterday on Rustic Acres. Thank you for joining the Discord server, Big Red. Welcome. As you can see, well, just as a word. Have a look around the Discord server. As I say, there's plenty on there to stuff to look at. But welcome. You're part of my Discord server community now. As I say, Nick, if you want to see any other content, I have YouTube links down below as well. There's plenty of farm sim content on there. Plenty. And I'd say, guys, this stream will be going up on YouTube as, as well, so... I say if Kiwi is still in the chat, feel free to join the Discord server if you want if you want to, Kiwi. Or Zupa. Sorry. It's force of habit. Right, hopefully we should be able to get this field done soon. Before I finish this farm, I'm going to order th three things. Well, I'm going to lease three things. One of them, because I'm going to do square bales this time, not round bales. Because I don't really like square bales that much. 
not brown bales that much, not square bales. Okay, we'll lease that for about 5,000. Or at least, thank you. We'll also lease this trailer. This trailer here, guys, the Rat 200 is actually a mod, which you can get off Mod Hub. So we'll lease you, which actually automatically puts your bales on the back, automatically. And the other thing I want to borrow is a cedar. This one here. We'll lease that cedar as well. You've been doing logging on FS19. What's logging? I struggle with logging. I really, really do struggle. And mods, yes, I do use mods. Money mod. I don't use a money mod anymore. And we need some seed as well. One, two, three, there we go. Okay, I've got all three things leased that I need. This is saying, Nick, this map that I'm actually on is actually a mod map as well. It's Sosanovaca. This map. What's my favourite truck mod? Um, the trucks that look like Scania's. They're my favourite truck mods. Very easy. Oh, okay. So I did try doing logging before, but it just went absolutely. Yeah, it just went wrong. I had to chuck all my like little bits of log in the back of my 4x4 and take them back and forth. <laughs> As hey Nick, if you're around to the end of the stream, I can jump on the map that I'm going to be using for multiplayer and actually show you around that map if you would like me to. have a truck that does 155 kilometers. Oh, which truck's that? And also, Nick, are you playing on PC, Xbox, or PS4? That's the other thing I forgot to ask. As I say, if you're playing on PC in the Steam version, multiplayer is going to be a bit hard.
but before I continue and complete this field I'm just going to empty my combine quickly Yeah, you playing on PS4, Xbox or PC, Nick? I've got this funny feeling you might be a PC one. Right. My trailer is now full. Right, let's check to see where the best grain seller is. Xbox. Excellent. That's what I'm playing on as well, Xbox. So... You're in luck. Multiplayer can happen. Uh -huh. Right, best place to sell wheat is at the grain elevators. That's the best price, 739. But where's the grain elevator? Look at the map. Okay, so we'll literally have to come out of here, go all the way down that road, round the roundabout. Okay, we'll have to go right down to field 34. Let's go and sell some grain. Hey there, Cyan! Welcome to the stream, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I've just taken a wrong turn. So what sort of mods, mods, so what sort of maps do you play on then Nick on FS19? You might be, well as I say I do farming Friday every Friday and I look at all sorts of maps so your idea of maps might help with some more ideas. Let's also see how much we get for this grain. We're going to have to drive down to the grain elevator and then drive back to the uh, combine. Let's think of the word then. My brain just went, what? So what have you been up to lately, Cyan? Just bear with me one, guys. Right, hello guys, sorry about that, I literally had to go and answer the front door. Right, let's go down to the grain elevator. With the wheat. Speed!
just been grinding. Do I play train sim? Yes, I do, Cyan. I do play train sim. I say I have plenty of train sim on my YouTube as well. About 52 videos worth of your train sim world on there. And I can remember you following following me through Oak, so I can remember that. Right, the grain elevator should be down here. Sorry, bloody Audi driver. Right, this is the grain elevator on the right hand side. See how much we get for this wheat, shall we? I see, you have FS19 but haven't played it in a while. And you play a train sim as well. Cool. Oh, well, thank you for popping in, Cyan. Hope to see you in another stream. Thank you for popping in. Hope your meeting goes well. See you later. Right. Uh, didn't see how much I got from that. But let's go back to the field. Fill it up with rain again. That's fine, Cyan. Most people lurk anyway. It's fine, don't you worry. I say, I'm on as long as I'm on, so. I say Cyan, I'm also on tomorrow, Sunday and Monday, so. So, I don't know what I'm streaming yet, guys. I don't have a clue. Someone seems to be having fun on Discord. Okay, someone's really having fun on Discord. I thought the mill didn't have um, a good price wheat because if it did then I would have literally dropped off there.
I'm driving in my tractor. Hip 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 hooray. I've definitely lost the plot. Looks like it's going to be cloudy soon as well. Okay, we've arrived at the farm. Or the field, field, field farm. Or do something. Right, we'll lob that in there. Yeah. I can't remember the truck now. Okay, you'll hop on and check. Cool, cool. Have a look. Is it a Russian truck by any chance, Nick? Because I know you can get a Russian designed truck for this game. I'm not sure if you can get it on the Xbox version, but I know you can get it on the PC version. Oh, it has a flat nose. Okay, so... Is it a Foden or a man? By any chance? I'm not 100% sure what it is. Oh, it is Hey, has anybody else in the chat got any favourite machinery that they like in farm sim? I say, let me know. Alright, just bear with me a moment guys, I will move on in a moment. Let's go.
I'm driving in my big red combo. Do, 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 do. Looks like we'll have maybe one or two more lines to go. And then that will be this field combined then. Hello the train, yes it's Farmer Friday Where we review different maps, mods, you name it, we'll have a look at it And there we go Field Harvested Welcome to the stream the train, welcome welcome Hope you're having a grand day On your possibly train sim world You're normally on Ravenport Well Ravenport is the uh, One of the standard maps You're doing stuff today, the train. Let me guess. Train Sim World is one thing you're doing today, the train? Bigger field. Um, I've got a map for you, Nick, that I can recommend for big fields. The Valley of the Old Farm. That's got, hum that's got big fields. Right, let's take this combine back to the farm. Don't know where to park it, but we'll park it in a shed. Like here. Oh, you're tidying the house today. Okay. But will you be doing any gaming later, the train? There's a mod called Big Field Farm. Big Fields Farm? What, is that actually a map, Nick? Right, we will take this tractor back to the farm and we'll hook the other tractor to this trailer. Tractor needs weirdly needs maintenance. Don't know how. Or repair it anyway. Repair. There we go. Fixed it. Okay, 
Nick, I'll have a look at that map. Mod, as I say after the stream, I'll go through this chat and I'll write maps that have been I've been told and I'll have a look at them on Farming Fridays. Oh yeah, oh, Rocket League, FIFA, maybe a cheeky bit of train sim world. Okay then, the train. Well, say at the moment I'm doing farm sim and then I might jump on a bit of my own farm later tonight. Don't know yet. But there, I've also got to do some GTA as well, so... How come this one's low on maintenance as well? Sorry, did they give me a broken tractor or something? Yeah, repair that, thank you. Are you hopping on farm sim, Nick, right now? Right, we'll take this to somewhere. Whatever's got the best deal for grain, for wheat. Then we'll come back, drop the trailer off, and then we'll go to the shop and pick up the baler then. Okay, the grain elevator's still got the best price. I've just taken that wrong turn again, haven't I? It's a buffoon. There we go. Okay, let me know what the truck is, Nick. And you might pop on GTA Story in a few minutes. Well, sorry, you might pop on GTA Story or Direction Mode. Okay, the train. Yeah, I haven't got a silo on this one. Well, I've probably got a silo at the farm, but I prefer getting money. But as I say, Nick, if you keep an eye on... Um, well, if you stay here to the end of the stream, I'll actually show you my farm that I'm going to be using for multiplayer. On that farm, we've got about five or six different silos for different things. I just need to get them working. Yeah, we've got silos for like seeds, lime, fertilizer, chicken feed, horse feed, cow feed. We've got all sorts. And you can also, if you stay around Nick, you can also see my retro tractor. TLX 9000 is a truck mod. What's the TLX 9000 based on, Nick? Is it based on like a man or a Scania or something I've probably never heard of? I say the bailing and the picking up of the bales shouldn't take that long. I 
I think the longest thing on this map that's taken the longest is the delivering stuff. Right, drop the wheat off. Two thousand four hundred and seventy one pounds I got for that. Right, we'll take this trailer back to the farm and then we'll go to the shop. We'll go to the shop and pick up the baler. Actually that's the point. Can I put the baler on the back of the trailer? Actually, good thinking there. Why didn't I think of that? Right, when we go to a shop, guys, I'm going to try that. Putting the baler on the back of the trailer. It will save an extra trip. And also the train, if you're still in the chat, I am back tomorrow, Sunday and Monday. With some stuff. Anyway, for anybody who's in the chat, this might be a random question, but what's your favourite TV show? It can either be on TV, or it can be on Amazon, or it can be on Netflix. Or it can even be on Disney+. Plus. all sorts of signs. Right, we're coming up to the farm where I can drop this trailer off and then I'll need to try and suss out how to get to the shop. Even though I've already been to the shop. Right, whereabouts is the shop? Oh, I'd actually just follow the road up and then take a turning to the shop. Okay, that's just made my life easy. Right, let's try and put the bailing machine on the back of the other trailer.
This trailer I've got here, guys, is actually a mod. I'll do these. I've got to do something. Don't drive into it. Right, we'll try and reverse this on the back. You're not sure what it's based on. Right, okay. Is it available for the Xbox Mods store? Well, obviously. Okay, I've just kind of answered my own question there. Well done. Saves me doing two trips. Just take two things back to the farm at the same time. Okay, Woody the Woodpecker. Thank you, Woody the Woodpecker. Right, there we go. Let's take this off and take it to field 19. It's fast, that's what you can say. Okay, I'll have a look at it on the mod hub uh, after the stream.
I so say hopefully this shouldn't take that long to do so We've had up to 150-55 kilom kilometres with a low loader and a harvester on the back. Wow! What are you transporting the harvester for, Nick? Curious. Up and down, round in circles. So Nick, what's your favourite thing about farming? And what actually got you into farm sims? 19. I'll say 17 then. Whoops. You just started a new game and it was all at the store. Okay. Do you mod money into your games by any chance, Nick? It's not so relaxing, easy to zone out for ages. I know that feeling, I sometimes just, when I'm on farming on my own, I only just stick some earphones in, stick some music on, z literally turn on farming, zone out, and then that's it. And use the government subsidy to sign. Okay. Well, as I say, lately I haven't been using the government subsidy sign. I've been wanting to run things normally. So I say the multiplayer map that I'm going to show at the end, if you're still about, Nick, that will not have a government subsidy thing on it because that will be becoming a multiplayer map so the more people we have on that the faster we will make money the faster we make money the faster we can get new equipment I know the government subsidy is a mod.
didn't know you, sh you could get a wind drowner or a tent or a tether to make bigger piles. Didn't know that actually. Was not aware of that. So do you prefer square bales or circular bales? Yeah. Say so with me, I prefer the square square ones. Literally can't talk today. Don't know where my teeth have gone. <laughs> Yes, my trailer is a self-loading. Well, actually, no, it's an automatic loader. And square bales, of course. Yeah, mine's an automatic loader, so I set it to just pick up the bales straight automatically, so... I will show once I've completed putting all this stuff into bales. Bump. This is actually an all right tractor, actually. I say with tractors, I prefer John Deere tractors, but that's just my own opinion. Which tractors do you prefer in this game? Nick? So you could have a front mower and a baler on the back. So is that like literally going, okay, I'll just mow everything and then just bale it at the same time? I think I've just explained exactly what it is. What a clown. Speed bump. Do you like JCB? I know there's plenty of JCB mods for this. Like, uh, which map was it? There was a map review I did uh, not long ago. Which one was it? That was it, Sandy Bay. That was the map mod I did, and I used the JCB on that. 
and that Sandy Bay review guys is actually available on the YouTube channel you know right we've got four more lines to go Well, that's fair enough, you don't have to like every single tractor. Say, so, I prefer JCB, but. Look. Sorry, I prefer John Deere, but that's just my own personal opinion. Oh, there's a speed bump. Ah, there, we've got a mini speed bump. So what sort of uh, combines do you like then? Yeah. You like, I think there is such a thing as a JCB combine, I think. Don't quote me on that guys. Go, we've completed another field. Oh. We've completed a field on this map, not another field. Well, it's going to go around and pick up the little squaggles. Well, you just said you do like JCB. Nick, you just you just confused me. Okay, that's just unloaded the bale for me, thank you. Right, that's that job done. Now I can go on here, go to gar garage. Go to lease items. And now I can return it. Okay. Ah, oh, is that the combines? You like JC you like John Deere combines and stuff, but you prefer JCB tractors. Is that what you're trying to say, Nick? Or have I got that completely wrong? And I need to put the Put that into that mood, mood, mode, whatever.
There we go. There's all my bales of hay. <laughs> oh, okay. I get it. I understand now. Yeah, so as I say, Nick, that's what this trailer does. It picks up all the bales and puts them on the back. So they're easier to transport. This is actually a really good trailer to have. Let's say I have this on every map, this trailer. Right, I know there's a bale sales around here. Here's where the bell sounds are, I think. And there we go, we've just made just under six thousand. And that was just on bales. I say for this tra the name of this trailer, which I've just used, is called the something. It's called the Lizard Rat 200. It costs in the shop to use, it is in baling technology. To buy one of these trailers I've got, costs about thick cost about 30,000 you can use it for the round bales and the square bales it takes about 44 bales altogether and it's a really useful baling thing to be quite honest with you but I don't need it anymore now <clears throat> so I'm going to take it back to the wall get out of the way Take it back to the shop. Lease it and I put it back as well, I've just been a coconut and gone the wrong way. Yes, yeah, takes forty four bales altogether. And it and it you can literally load it yourself, or it automatically loads. So two good things there. And I say it costs thirty thousand pounds. Will I recommend the trailer? Yes, I would. Do I have one on my Rustic Acres farm? I have one on lease. Right, this farm is nearly done actually. Actually this fertilises as well, doesn't it, this machine? Remember that. Right, we'll have one, two, three fertilizing things as well. Garage, okay, we'll return that one. We'll attach to you, we'll refill, refill, refill you. Yeah, I know that. 
Nick, but I had to come to the back to the shop to pick up this machine, so... And this is my seeding machine, so... And I'm probably going to end up wasting a load of seed here. I think this is going to be nearly one of my longest um, reviews nearly. Right. Yeah, because I think it was on the old steel farm I used a fence tractor which was too light to take the trailer that I'm using and I was kind of driving around on two wheels for most of the um, journey and it also didn't help that um, I was on a hill hang on have I done the same thing here yeah I've done the exact same thing again Can't get the staff, can you? <laughs> well, let me just point out, guys, if you're going to use the um, machine on the back. Make sure you don't use a small tractor with it. <laughs> it really doesn't work it really doesn't work well. Right. unfold the sower. And we'll turn on the sower. Yeah, I am putting wheat back on this field. So I took wheat off this field and I'm putting wheat back on this field. Whoever uses this field next time, I'll have wheat on the field.
Bazo, would I go back to this map? Not in a hurry. I think I would um stick with other maps for now. Not being funny. Fields, some of the fields are too small for me. I prefer a bit more action. Like, I mean, a bit more ground to work on. And at the same time guys, I'm fertilising this field at the same time, so... So oh, Nick, what do you think of this field, field farm? Would this be a map you would like to try or do you not bother with this map? It's not being funny. I say this wouldn't be a map that I would return to quickly. Right, that's that field finished. Yep, field finished. Well guys, that <coughs> was a look at Sosnovaka. So that's Sosnovaka. Would I recommend the map? Well, if you're into that sort of thing and you like small roads, easy to navigate map, I would recommend that. But if you want big fields and stuff like that, 
try looking at other maps. But just for all my viewers and stuff, we're going to jump on and have a look at Rustic Acres as well. Just so I can show um, at the end of the map, at the end of the map, what my multiplayer map actually is for people. And just to also show people how it's progressed. Because as I say, when I did the first look of this this map, Welcome to Rustic Acres, it's about over a week ago now. And I can tell you things have changed. Like in that picture guys, you see where the garage sheltery thing is. Yeah, that's no longer there anymore. We, uh, I kind of sold all that, and I've got a new garage sort of thing there. So I've changed that. But other than that, everything else is well, still the same nearly. But behind that silver thing in the middle there. Just behind the silo, I've got loads more silos back there as well. So, aha, uh -huh, I've done quite a bit. Right, let's press start and let's load it up. Here we are. So, the tour. We've got chicken coops over here where we can have chickens when I get some more money. Over here we've got silos. So we've got the standard silo. We've got Yeah, that's the pig what? That's the pig silo, pig food silo, horse food silo, chicken feed silo, seed silo, fertilizing silo. Then over here, I can't remember what that one is. Have a look in the garage. Tell me down here what that last one is. Yeah, so we've got a silo. Silo for fertilizer, silo for seeds, silo for lime. Okay, that's the lime one there. Silo for horse food, silo for pig food. We've also got one for chicken feed as well. Let's say over here is the new shed. One trailer at the moment. This is that, um, what's it called? Bailing trailer. I've got that on lease at the moment on this bit of farm. This is an onion machine, which I've got on lease because one of my fields has onions in it. In here, in the garage, is all the equipment. So we've got the ploughs, the mower, the water machine, the water carrier, baler, fertiliser, seeder, stuff for the combine, Fiat 1300, don't really use that much. Oh, we've got a Fent over here as well. The Fent Favourite 515C. We've got another cedar here. Here's my retro tractor, the Kramer KL200. Very nice tractor to drive. Uh, close, close the door. There we go. Yes, it. Uh, excuse me. 
and that's what I can do, thank you. Yeah, so this garage here, guys, is a mod as well, which cost me quite a bit. Then we've got maintenance over here. And then over here, we've got three fields. So we've got a field number two, which had a seed on at the beginning. I can't remember what it was. But on it at the moment, we have got onions, which I need to remove the heads of the onions. Over on field three, field three used to have coffee on it. There was no sorum field three used to have on it. At the moment, it's got mustard on it. So that needs to be harvested. And then on field one, We've got coffee, which is, these are like the three of the new seeds I've got, so onions, mustard and coffee. So kind of quite a big field, field farm actually. Skip over, skip bidi doo -da. thank you. Oh yeah, over here, well, as I say, we've got the chickens here. Oh, this is a water fountain, which is also a mod. I say so we will be getting animals on this farm, don't you worry. When we've got the money. So over here, is horses, we can have horses in this farm, farm field. Over here, we can have cows. Over here, we can have jump, jump. Thank you. Uh, if I can find the area where I can buy the animals, that would be useful. Yeah, over here we can have sheep and then over here we can have pigs so you yeah it's quite a big oh yeah and the electric fences are also a mod as well But yes, what I've done on this farm so far, guys, is harvest fields 1, 2 and 3. Sold the grain from those fields because I needed the money. Then planted them with onions, mustard and coffee. I've also done a couple of contracts for two people. Which one of them was... Combining field 32, so it's combining mustard. Did field 45, which was sowing seeds. Did field 45, which was sowing seeds. So yeah, that's how I've been able to get some of the money. But yeah. That is Rustic Acres, guys, which is the multiplayer farm, which if I can get more people in the Discord, which the Discord link I will have to update down below. So I'd say if it doesn't work and you're watching this on YouTube, guys, have a look on the YouTube and let me know in the comments if it's not working. Just bear with me one moment, guys. Yes, so... Oh, and this is what the... F this is what the farm looks like, so it's pretty big the farm, so 
But yes, this is the file that I'm working on, guys. This is, I say, multiplayer. The more people I get in the Discord, the more people that have farm sim, the more people we can get on the farm, and the more we can get done, and the more money we can make. So, all fun. But yes, guys. Other than that, I will be back tomorrow, Saturday. Actually, tomorrow is Saturday. Mm. I'll be back tomorrow, Sunday and Monday for some content. Let's say, I don't know what it'll be yet. It'll either be more farming, train sim world, trucking. It will be something. So just keep an eye on your channels in the left-hand corner, guys. So yes, it's been another interesting stream as well. But yes, before I go, I've got some thank yous to say. Before I disappear. Yeah, so I've got a thank you to... Yeah, I've got to say thank you to DJ Gaming for the for the raid, I was about to say for the host. Now, thank you to DJ Gaming for the raid of four. Thank you for Ox for the host. Thank you to Big Red six six one for the follow, and for the host. Thank you to all those people. But yes, guys, I'm going to be signing off. I will be back tomorrow. Don't know what time yet. But say if you want to talk catch me or anything I'll be available over on the discord so if you want to talk on the discord in message cool cool but yes guys I will catch you in the next one have a great rest of the day and I'll catch you soon guys happy farming